Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of wearing glasses. Now, it's been like a year since I've been wearing glasses, so I thought it'd be a good idea to talk about the pros and cons of wearing glasses, or having glasses, if you want to put it that way. Now, I have a list right next to me, and I'm not listing like every single pro and con. I can only list a few since I've only had glasses for like a year now, so... And so this video doesn't like, like take 15, 20 minutes or something like that. So I only list a few pros and cons from this list right next to me. So anyway, the first pro is, is that they help you see. Now, not everybody in this universe is born with 2020 vision. So eventually you're gonna have to get glasses to improve your eyesight. Not completely improve it, but somewhat improve your eyesight just to make things a little better for yourself so you don't have to see too much blurriness far away or up close. Now, some people who can't see far away are nearsighted, like me. I need glasses so I can see far away. And people who can't see up close are farsighted, which means they need glasses so they can see up close. I know that it does sound confusing, like far-sighted, up close, near-sighted, far away. It does sound a little confusing when I when I think about it. My mind is all over the place when I think about the the minor things, I guess. Um, the next pro is that you can choose between the different styles and colors when you first get your new glasses. Um, these glasses that I have on right now were actually the third pair of glasses that I chose from at Walmart. Yes, I got these glasses at Walmart, not from my eye doctor, my local eye doctor. So I got these babies at Walmart and I'm so glad I did because as soon as I put these third pair of glasses on, my mom thought that they were super cute. And then as soon as I started looking in the mirror, I couldn't agree more. I instantly fell in love with these glasses and if I ever break these glasses, which I'll get into this breaking glasses con in a little bit, I'm hoping that I'll get it repaired and maybe it'll be the same pair because I really like this pair and if I get a new pair that doesn't look like these pairs of glasses, then yeah, the change is overwhelming and yada yada yada, you know. And speaking of styles, the last pro that I have on my list is that they're very fashionable and stylish and I couldn't agree more. So little fashion tip, if you don't, you're gonna have to need glasses. I mean, you'll be, you'll look fashionable and stylish if you wear them. I mean, if you don't wanna wear them, you kinda have to. If you want, if you don't wanna see blurriness or fogginess in your eyes, kind of have to need glasses or contacts, either or, but I don't use contacts. Not a big fan of contacts. I'm too scared to put them on anyway, so I prefer glasses anyway. Now, moving on to the cons. They can break easily and eventually you're gonna have to get a new pair. Now, this is the pair of glasses that I've worn one year straight. So I've never broken these glasses at all so I never had to get um, the, a new pair of glasses thank god because if I ever break these I if I ever get a different pair that doesn't look like these kinds of glasses then it'll take me a while to adjust to them because I love these glasses they make me look pretty and add a little bit of personality to me kind of when I put these on see look me without glasses me with glasses See how much personality and prettiness that I got in my um, in my face, sort of? Eh, some people may say I look the same, but I actually know I do look different with glasses <laughs> and without glasses. Big difference when you have them on. Anyway, next con is that you'll have to adjust to them. You'll have to adjust them if they slide off your face, like this for an example. I do this a lot when I'm recording videos. They slide off my face and I have to do this with my finger. It gets annoying. You can also like get them tightened or adjusted at um, Walmart, which I, I've done before. I've gotten them adjusted at Walmart 
and at first they were too tight so I tried to get them adjusted again and they were either too loose or too tight but if they had fall off my face I I wouldn't mind if I adjusted them like this at least it's better than being too tight because if they were too tight they would squeeze my nose kind of I've had these adjusted before and they were too tight so tight and it took me a while to just get them adjusted and all that stuff. Anyway, the final con is that whenever you wear a face mask, this was during COVID, by the way, whenever you wear a face mask and glasses, breathing in the mask can fog up your glasses. And I remember when I first got glasses, I had to wear glasses and a face mask because it was still during, it was back in 2020 early 2021 when I had to still wear a face mask in school and my glasses were fogging up and I couldn't see anything and I couldn't even put I couldn't even put my mask down where I can you know reveal my nose because you have to you know cover up your mouth and nose duh so it just took me a while to adjust like figuring out how I can adjust my glasses and my face mask without all the stuff fogging up and everything I just can't see and all of that stuff. So I can't just go to school without my glasses and only wear a face mask because that would be a bit of an issue, sort of, if I, if I need to see far away, that is. So anyway, that's all of the pros and cons I have for you today in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.